everybody. You'll never guess what happened to me. The other day, someone told me I was fat. I never would have known if they hadn't told me. Who'd have thunk it, right? Seriously, though, they were so proud of themselves. Well, let me quit saying they. I know they're watching, so let me talk to them directly. You were so proud of yourself reporting back to your minions about how you stalked me into a chat room, I mean, to a live stream, and you called me fat. Oh, my God. Did you think that went up all by yourself? You know what? I'm going to let you have that one. You have so few wins. I'm just going to give that one to you. In fact, because I'm nice, I'm going to give you a couple more. You got a pen and pencil? I'm sure one of your friends will help you with the big words. Um, besides being fat, um, my boobs don't match because I've had a partial mastectomy from breast cancer. Um, I have scoliosis, so I also have to um, use either a walker or um, forearm crutches to keep my balance. And I have a limp. I've had multiple broken bones because of my uh, peripheral neuropathy. I have fibromyalgia. Is that enough or do you need me to keep going? Let's, let's just go with that for now. I'm sure that'll give you a little, plenty of material. You got, yeah, you got nothing better to do with your life, so you got plenty of time to come up with something. Now, if you're expecting me to be hurt by that, sorry to disappoint you. Guess what? I already knew I was fat. It's not a surprise to me. Keep going with that. Um, do you expect me to apologize? Hmm, not going to happen. Insert clip here. Just kidding. Uh, do you want me to be ashamed of it? Sorry to disappoint you again. I'm not. Now, is that a great thing to be? Not necessarily. For someone my height, my age, my gender, my circumstances, it's not that healthy, no. It uh, does interfere with other health conditions. It puts uh, more stress on my breathing. It puts more stress on my joints. It doesn't help with, you know, my pain issues and all that other kind of stuff. And it, it brings up my blood pressure a bit. Um, does it keep my husband from loving me? Absolutely not. By the way, there's such a thing as chubby chasers. Those are men or women who are attracted to other people with fuller figures. You know what? It's not for everybody, but nothing is. So, you might want to look that up. It's a real thing, but I know that, you know, you don't know a lot about the real world, so, you know, we'll just go with that. And, uh, let me see. And I know you think I'm out to attack you, but I'm not. I don't, I don't want to attack you. I don't want to drag you down. I mean, you're so pitiful already. I, you know, all you know how to do is deflect. And, you know, just because you make up lies about other people and you spread rumors and you try to get people kicked out of uh, chats and everything else, you know, I'm not going to come after you. What's the point? You know, it's like a Davy and Goliath thing. Yeah. I take no pride in being able to take down somebody less than me. No. I'm just going to let it go. Not a problem. But you might want to rethink your tactics. Because you don't realize it yet. But your little minions and your little sheeple, they're starting to see y'all for who you are. You think we don't know. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. So, I'm just going to sit back, let you keep buying your subs, buying your friends, buying your way in, onto panels, and doing all that. And when it's all said and done, your channel will be dead. I'll still be here. My channel's tiny, but, you know, it's mine. Not everybody likes what I have to say. Nobody, not everybody's interested in what I have to say. But they don't need to be. I don't care. It's my channel. And the right ones like it. That's all I care about. The ones who like me, 
are going to like me. The ones who don't, aren't. That's the way life goes. And just because you can't handle real life doesn't mean you have the right to dictate how other people live theirs. I'm sorry for the life you have, that you're not happy, and everything that nobody knows about what you've been through. Well, you know what? You don't know what everybody else has been through either. It's called being a grown-up. You know, not everybody can be a 65-year-old teenager. You know, if it works for you, you do you, boo. You know, I have my moments where I act like a child, where I have little temper tantrums, where I get my feelings hurt. You know, I'm human. What I'm not going to do is take out my frustrations on everybody else. But that's just me. So, honestly... I don't have to stalk you and do the things that you do to other people. I'm not going to come after your channel. I'm not going to come after you. God knows I'm certainly not coming after your husband. That's for sure. Your husband. But, uh, yeah. I'm just going to sit over here in my little corner of the world and enjoy my life like I've been doing. You have your corner and I'll have mine. But, I will say this. Keep coming after my friends. All it does is give us more evidence. Until the next time, be well off.